Okay, so welcome to part two of Amnesia Editor Tutorial, aka HPL Suite. Alright, so we're going to learn to make objects on our map, because obviously you wouldn't want to be on a, on a, in a room with nothing in it, because that's kind of boring. So let's open Entities. It kind of looks like the guy from Pac-Man, which is number seven. And on the right, you want to select furniture. And I'm going to use a bed. So you just place it wherever you're happy with it. I'm going to put it right here. Oops, it's backwards. Remember, rotating W and Q. Alright. Now that we have that placed, it looks good. I'm going to add... Let's see, what do I want to add? Hmm. Chest of drawers. Yeah. Let's add one of those. Right about there. Okay, now you see how it's in the ground? That can easily be fixed. Get your select tool, number one. Click on it, and on the green arrow, pull it up until it's out of the ground. See, that looks nice. Alright. Now, what else do we want to put in this room? Make it look nice and pretty. I don't know, I don't really think we should put anything. Anyway, now that we have a couple objects in here and we want to make a start point for when the player spawns. So, go down to, um, uh, which one is it? Ah, areas, number eight. And on the right, go for player start place it anywhere you want them to start when they launch your custom story and make sure once you place that object on your map to get your select tool select it I don't think I'm selecting, I think I'm selecting the floor, yeah I'm selecting the floor you want to select this Okay, so I was having a little bit of technical difficulties there. You want to select it and drag it up so it's not in the ground. Because if it's in the ground, bad things will happen to you. A monster will come out of the wall and eat you. Just kidding. Um, but yeah, that's where I want the player to start. So next, we're going to need to um, add a light in here. So... First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my entities again, number seven. I'm going to go to lamp. Let's see, what do I want to use? Let's use candlestick one. And on the bottom here, it says create on surface. Check that. And then you can just put it right up on top of this, right here. All right, now that you have that there, it's not going to be very bright, as you can see. Uh, select my light, and on the right light type, point light. Spawn that. Click it. Click it. And I'm going to drag it above the light here. Turn off snapping. Alright, so now that we got our light in place, we're going to go to point, and we're going to turn the radius up. And let's see how bright is that. That's pretty bright.
Now that's not going to be enough light, so I'm going to take my player and I'm gonna move them this way. I'm going to go back to my entities, number number seven. I'm going to go back to furniture. I'm going to add a nice little chest of drawers. Turn my snapping back on. Turn green on surface off. All right. Now, I'm going to bring it back up to the surface here. Alright, and I'm going to put another lamp on there. Okay, now I'm going to put another light. Another point light. Right about there. I'm going to turn the radius up to about 4.5. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that's a lot better. Alright, so that's part two. Get ready to check out part three in a sec. Thanks.